Okay, it's currently at 3 gigahertz. Multipliers uh, 200 front side bus times 15, so that's 3 gigahertz. This is FPS on Crisis. I'm at a low point, so I can load it back up when I underclock it. You can see about 55, 53, 54. Very constant. So that's 300, well, 3 gigahertz, as this 199 times, well, 200 times 15. So, and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, you go to BIOS, enter cell menu, 3 gigahertz. Um, CPU ratio is usually 15. I'm open on 4. And 190 megahertz. F10 to save. So now the CPU is under 1 gigahertz, 760 megahertz. And now let's see it play Crisis. Okay, the multiplier is times 4, so 4 times, what was it, uh, 190 uh, FSB, so 4 times 190, uh, 760 MHz, which is extremely slow, but if you're wanting to do underclocking because your CPU is too hot. Now, 760 MHz, we're getting about 20 FPS. My turn, probably about 23. It's more relevant with his processor speeds to a old Pentium D. But this is actually an Athlon 2. I mean, you can see that's laggy as shit. Actually, we're getting about 26, 29, 30. Wow, that's surprising. Must be just from my graphics card. But yeah, in action, which is NPCs are filtered through your CPU, you can see when I'm shot at it goes down to 10. Yeah. So it's definitely not getting hot anymore. And when I try loading stuff, it takes an extremely long time to load. Let me just shoot and see how slow the FPS gets. Oh, I got no ammo. I'm going to throw a grenade and see if it makes me lag out. Well, I didn't do a mix of die, I don't know.